Welcome back my lovelies to another Milibu episode. It's your girl Milana here and today I bring you some really cool hair accessory styling tools to make our life easier on our hair. It's supposed to be easier and faster. I'm excited. Let's put this to the test with my shorter hair. And by the way, I'm getting a haircut and a hair color on Thursday. It's gonna be very different, hopefully, because I'm changing the color of my hair. So today I have a bunch of hair accessory tools that we are gonna test out on my shorter hair, which I'm excited to see if it actually works and if it does save a lot of extra time. Let's get started. The first one we're gonna start off with the swirl bun. It looked really interesting. It looked like a really pretty elegant updo. That's perfect maybe for like work or like a really cool party, date night, whatever. It looked really interesting and it's by the brand Mia. And I will have everything linked for you guys down below if I can find them. I did purchase all of these from Ulta. So when you unwrap it, you will feel and see there's like this Velcro part right here. This is, this is what helps your hair attach and stay in place with the little wrap when you do put it together. And then on one end you have a hair tie and then the other end you have a little slit. In the back of the box, you have the four step instruction to help you make your life easier when you do try to achieve the swirl bun look. So let's get started. Step one is to unroll the swirl bun, which I did until it's flat, and then part your hair into three sections and actually shows in the first picture A, B, and C, the three different sections. So let's do it. So here are the three sections. You're gonna have two sections on the side and then one big middle section that you're gonna gather into a ponytail wherever you want your bun to be. So it's gonna be kind of like halfway towards the bottom of my back of my head. <laughs> Next step, it says to take the hair tie and make sure your actual swirl bun, when it's flat, the Velcro part is gonna be facing outwards, not towards the scalp, it's gonna be kind of going towards the top. So your hair is gonna be laying on top of it. So tie off the hair into a ponytail. So the next step is you're gonna take your ponytail and you're gonna pull it, pull it through the slit on the other end of it. So now that I have my hair put through the slit, it's not gonna work or it's not really working with me just because my hair is way too short and it's not going all the way around the wrap or the swirl. So this hair tool, hair accessory is definitely not recommended for short hair. This is definitely for the longer medium to long hair to make sure your hair wraps all the way around the wrap or the swirl. And then basically what you do once you have it wrapped around, you just take these sections and you kind of just go on top of the swirl to kind of give it that really pretty swirl bun. This is a fail so far, but we're gonna see if we can try to make this work with shorter hair. It might be a fail, but it might be a success, we'll see. All right, so what I'm gonna try is, I'm gonna take the ponytail out of the slit and then just take the swirl bun and then just to wrap it around the ponytail as close as possible to the clear elastic in my scalp, nice and tight if I can. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ponytail and do kind of like that ponytail bun that I do, I take the hair, spread it around, and just place a clear elastic on top of it to kind of make sure the hair is covering the entire swirl bun. So then what I'm gonna do with these sections, I'm not just gonna take two, I'm gonna divide them into two sections. So I'm gonna take a first section from the back and then I'm gonna bring it over on top of the bun and just make sure it's pretty tight and then just wrap it around the bun to underneath and then just secure it with a couple of bobby pins. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, divide into two sections, and then just take the section that's towards the back and just loop it around the top the same way as we did the first one. So I'm gonna do the same thing with these front sections. I'm gonna bring them over the top and then just secure it. All right, so this is our overall look. We did something with it. It's definitely not a swirl bun per se, but it definitely kind of resembles or it fakes that I have a lot more hair in the actual bun, which I always appreciate because with shorter hair, it's kind of difficult to make those really nice voluminous buns. So overall, I can't really give a rating because I didn't accomplish the swirl bun, but we did accomplish something out of it to see if you could actually utilize it with shorter hair. And I think we did a decent job. I think it looks pretty cute. So overall, it took us like five minutes to figure out what we wanted to do with the actual swirl bun, and then two minutes to put it all together. So it's extremely fast, it's really easy. And I think for like every single day or like early morning, if you're like in a rush or even, even if you have wet hair, I think you can do something with this. Test it out for yourself and let me know. I think it's a pretty cool hair accessory. The next one we're going to try and test is the Conair Vintage Line Ponytail Poof. It says it's suitable for mid to long hair, but we will see if I actually can do something with my shorter hair. And it's easy to use, lightweight and comfortable. Let's test it out, see how good it is. 
So it comes with two hair ties, the little poof with the comb on it, and then six bobby pins. So grab a nice healthy section of hair towards the front, going towards the back, and you're gonna place the poof right on top of your crown, and in back of the section with the little teeth, the comb, going facing, going into your scalp, basically into your hair. So next, what it says, you can actually take your hair that's gonna be covering the little poof and give them a little tease, just to add a little bit more volume and texture and dimension to the overall look. And then just take the hair and just bring it back and kind of cover the poof. You're gonna pick it up in a ponytail. <laughs> this is a fail. Nope, that just looks very wrong. All right, so overall, I think this is a definite must. It's pretty genius, especially for short hair. It gives like the nice elongated crown head that looks like an alien, you know, that we always are striving to get. You guys, I'm kidding. This thing is not good. Don't get it. Don't waste your money on this. Unless you have longer hair, I think it might work. It looks pretty cool and vintage on the box, but for shorter hair, no, no. <laughs> Unless you're looking for that look. I don't know. <laughs> To each their own, right? <laughs> so this next one is also a Kanye vintage line and it's the vintage twist. And I thought this was kind of cool because I love my French twist. I wanted to see if this would actually hold better without using like a bunch of bobby pins. We'll see if this works. First step, gather all of your hair into a ponytail if you can. If not, just do like a half updo with the French twist. Now I will show you guys if I can do or accomplish it. And then you're gonna start twisting it towards the bottom. And then you're gonna pick it up towards the top, finish twisting it, and then bring it towards like the middle, underneath, and then bring it all together. You're gonna take your vintage twist tool and make sure the slant, see how it's going kind of curved? The curve is gonna go towards your scalp. So you're gonna take the, the tool and make sure you grab the top and the middle of the twist that you did, the inserted kind of like you put it on, underneath and then you're just gonna secure it down. What do we think of this one? I actually kind of like it and appreciate it that it takes so much faster and much easier than just doing the regular way with bobby pins and pinning it up first and then wrapping it around and then pinning it again. Even though that way, it's, I feel like you can get it a little bit more polished, but this one is extremely fast, it's extremely easy, and I do appreciate it. Pretty good, I must admit. The next hair accessory or tool is this wrap up by the Beach Waver. It looks really cool. You can do a lot of cool things with it and it's basically a bun maker or kind of like a faux bob maker. I thought it looked really neat. I love bun makers. They make my life so much easier with short hair. <laughs> So, this is what it looks like. It looks very similar to a lot of the other ones on the market, the ones that make the bun very easy. Yes, we do know it works because I already tried several of these out for you guys. So I'm gonna do something different and see if I can create something else with this type of tool. And we're gonna try to create a French twist that I just did, but with actually this as assistance to actually create the twist. Makes sense, right? Hopefully it makes sense. Kind of makes sense in my head. We'll see if it works. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my hair and pick it up into like a low ponytail. I'm gonna take this wrap up tool and take it, instead of taking it horizontal, I'm gonna place it vertical and take the hair through the slit. I'm gonna bring it out as much as I can without taking without the hair falling out. And I'm gonna start bringing it and twisting it towards my hair or my head. I'm gonna take the ends and kind of secure them around the hair, taking it inside. All right, it did something. It's a little bit messy, but I'm just gonna take some bobby pins and just clean it up a little bit. But there we go. Kind of made the French or the vintage twist a lot simpler myself since it kind of does the twist for you. That's amazing. Even though it's not meant for it, <laughs> make your own stuff up for it. Like a hack. It's a hack. <laughs> what do you guys think of this one? Another hack that we found for this little slit looking bun maker is we're gonna create like a vintage roll on the bottom or the back of our head instead of using like a headband we're gonna do with this thing i think it's actually a lot better and more secure because you have the slit and you actually roll it with the slit and then you secure it i think it's cool let me show you guys what i'm talking about so you do the same thing you're just gonna gather your hair into like a low ponytail actually i'm gonna take some of these hair out first 
So gather into like a little ponytail and put it through the slit. So just tighten the slit and kind of spread the hair out just a little bit to make it a little bit longer so it's not all one big section. And then very gently pull the little roll down. If some hair falls out, that's okay. We're gonna be able to pin it back, back again. So just start rolling. So these ends, you're gonna take them underneath or inside the roll and then do the same thing on the other side. Now take your bobby pins and then secure, do like three to four bobby pins, one on each side and then maybe two in the middle just to secure it. So there we have it, a very simple kind of a roll updo. I think it's really cute, very whimsical, romantic, and just effortless but really chic and pretty. You can leave it like this with like your hair is like hanging down or you can just take little sections and just take them on top of the little twist that we did and just to kind of like shove them inside and it's gonna stay put all day long because you already rolled it and it's nice and secure with the bobby pins or if you need more extra secure or you don't feel like it's nice and tight, just take more bobby pins and just secure them in there. What do we think of this one? I love this hack and I like that you can utilize or come up with your different renditions for any type of hair accessory or tool and make it your own. I really like this one. I think it's really cute. It's really simple and it's nice and secure. And yeah, you don't have to use like a headband. I love this one. I give it an A+. <laughs> Let me know what you guys would actually come up with instead of a bun, what kind of hairstyle you would do with this wrap up by the Beach Waver Company. Really cool product, I like these. This next hair accessory tool is kind of cool. It's the Conair Topsy Tail Tool and it comes with five pieces. You have the one regular size Topsy Tail, one Topsy Tail Junior, like the smaller version, and then three hair elastics. I'm kind of interested. I never really understood the point of a topsy tail, the actual tool, because you can just do it yourself, just twist it over. I don't know. I think you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Maybe it's great for like longer hair where you have a lot of hair to pull through. I think that's where I can kind of see the logic. But for short hair, I'm not sure you really need this. I'm gonna do like a half updo. Just gonna gather the hair. Use one of the hair elastics that they provide because why not? <laughs> It's right there, even though it's black, it's okay. You're gonna take your topsy tail, pull it through like this. Put your ponytail through the topsy tail, just like that. And then you're just gonna pull the topsy tail through the ponytail. I can see why people like these because it keeps your actual topsy tail nice and tight and secure. Whereas if you do it with your hands, you kind of have to loosen it and then pull it through and then you have to really tighten it. But this kind of keeps it tight for you. I'm gonna do the same thing now, but I'm gonna take a smaller section right underneath with the ponytail, and I'm gonna use just a small clear elastic, but this time I'm gonna do the tiny one, the tiny little Topsy Tail Junior, see if that actually does anything or difference. Not bad, I guess for smaller sections of hair, obviously, this is preferred because you have less tugging to do instead of with the bigger one to get all of this through. I mean, these are kinda cool, I kinda like them. I might keep them. <laughs> for like those topsy tail updos, they're kind of cool. I just tried pulling the lowest section and I broke it. Conair, why you gotta be so cheap? <laughs> I guess we're gonna use the big one now. All right, so there we have it. I think I'm converted to the topsy tail even though I thought it was pointless. It definitely does a job for you. What it really does, it pulls the tail through to create a topsy tail, which is incredible. It saves the time and energy and effort, but I wish they made them a little bit more tougher because that's, that's pretty bad. I only did it twice on the third time it broke. I mean, I think it would be better with like really pliable metal, like soft, thin metal, maybe. Tougher plastic, I don't know. Conair, step up your game, because that's pretty sad. So last but not least, this hair accessory looks extremely interesting and very promising. This is the Lock a Lock style Pony Connect. So you get like these two, I don't even know what you would call them, they kind of look like bungee cords. You know what I'm talking about? Like bungee cords, but with like little clips in the middle that connect them. So it could be very disastrous if it snaps and like it could really hurt your, hurt your head but it looks really interesting. And I think this is really great, especially if you have really short hair and you can't connect your hair in the back and you wanna create like a ponytail or something of the sort. So let's give it a go and see if it works. 
So in the very front of my hair, if I have a split down the middle or parted in the middle, I have some fringe that's pretty short and it does not make it way to the back because it's obviously short. So we're gonna test it out, see if it actually works. So we already have a problem that I'm noticing. The elastic is way too big and the hair is too short. <laughs> so this is the problem. <laughs> it's a complete fail if you have short hair. Um, the elastic is way too big and it doesn't hold the hair at all. I barely pull on it and the hair is just falling out completely. Like it's kind of no sense of this little invention that they have going on. I think it's a cool concept, but I don't know who would use it. I know I said this product seemed promising. It's not. I'm not understanding who would use this and why you would use this. Just use a hair tie. <laughs> Seriously. So that concludes this episode. I hope you guys liked some of these hair accessories. I think there was some of them are really cool. Some of them are really cheap. Some of them were kind of pointless and useless. Maybe just for short hair. Some of them maybe work for longer hair better, obviously. But there is not only just one way to use it correctly or properly. You can create your own ways of utilizing the hair accessory like I did in some of the hairstyles. All of them took me from one to three minutes tops. They're super simple. They're extremely fast and easy to use, as you guys saw. I think they're definitely worth checking out. Let me know which hair accessories you guys use to make your life easier. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.